especially the, the conservatives, quite frankly, are much more tolerant of people they don't like. It's the liberals who are purists, They're especially the ones in this town. They're the ones who, like, if you don't agree with me one million percent, I don't even want to know you. That, that, that's one of the reasons they lost. They have a bad attitude. And I don't know why, why the Democrats lost. I don't, I don't understand why the Democrats lost. I, well, but people will be writing books about it for years, many reasons. Part of it was, you know, uh, just he, Biden should not have stayed on so long. That I understand. But uh, inflation, uh, prices have come down. Um, uh, the economy is good. I mean, I don't know why they voted against. Yes, welcome back. I came across this clip recently. Bima sat down with this woke actor. They can't figure out how and what actually happened that Kamala didn't win. According to him, Kamala is a black woman. And... She is a vice president. Looking at people surrounding her, according to him, it could have been impossible for her to lose. When I looked through that, I did research to actually find out more information about this man. I realized he's from Canada. It is actually strange to see the kind of point he's putting out why Kamala didn't win. But B. Maha was actually... Okay, to point out what exactly happened, it is important. We look into all this, how we react and sharing my thought. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please endeavor to do that. It will do you no harm if you share the video. She was not a great candidate, let's be honest. Um, when she said, when they asked... Why isn't she a great candidate? She combined several trends of thought here, black. Uh, woman. Uh, that's not. That's not a candidate. Those are, you know, that's identity politics. That's well, one of the, the Democrats. Uh, those are elements. Those are. Uh, there, but the, nobody elects. Uh, I mean, yeah, people are tribal. They. There are some people who will vote just for the person who looks like them or is like them. But obviously, I think this proves you've got to go a lot further than that. You can't just be woman, black person. I mean, Trump got. A quarter of black men, that's 25%. I know. Um, you know, he didn't do much better in generally because the women are very much against him, but he killed it with Latinos. If there's any great irony in this election, is that the guy who came down the escalator 10 years ago talking about the rapists, uh, they keep giving him more of their votes. And again, I understand this. Why? Democrat, tell me, I, tell me what you understand. I will. Democrats don't understand their own constituencies. Um, if you're a, a Mexican-American, who do you fear taking your job? The guy who just came in th through the border. Of course they like the guy who says, I'm going to keep everybody out. But he, he didn't say I'm keeping everybody out. Well, I'm going to send everybody out. Okay, I but he... but. The Democrats could have won this election in a walk, I think. Not a walk, but I think they could have won it if Biden got out earlier. They had a, a true primary season to find the best candidate, not just one whose turn was it, who, by the way, before they anointed her, nobody was sort of on the page that she was very good at being a, a candidate. Or She failed the first time. Okay, so if they had done that. And then the pointless... Uh, reversing of Trump's border policy, which was remain in Mexico uh, and not everything counts as asylum. The Democrats' fatal flaw is they always have to look like the good people. So they reversed that and, and let in too many people. Not that we shouldn't be a nation of immigrants, but it just was a lawless shit show for years. And it was, and people noticed, and then they started to send them you know, they so many, the Democrats' hypocrisy was called out because the people in the northern cities who were like, we welcome everybody. And then the governors on the border states were like, okay, well, here they are. <laughs> Enjoy I, this bus what, load. What hasn't been talked about to the extent I, I, I will be is the unrest given global warming of millions of people wanting to get somewhere else. 
and somewhere else is like the United States. They, there are millions of people that will in the near future yeah. want to leave their country because they can't live in it. Yes. And look, I mean, it's going to happen here too. We could lose, um, we could lose Florida. Well, we will. And if anybody knows... Yes, when you take a look at this video, you can clearly see that Bimaha is speaking the truth. This is exactly what was going on. But he failed on one thing. Throughout the year, the past two years, I did not see Bimaha mentioning this on his podcast, on this real time. I didn't see that. Congratulations. You not only won, you won big. He won big. That's... Everybody should get props just for success, uh, despite the you know the vulgarities and the uh, you know the, maybe because the, of the, vulgarities, maybe because. But also, my mantra: losers look in the mirror. Well, I think I think that's what uh, everybody has to do. The thing that worries me the most is global warming. You can. You know, the wrong financial advice and uh, get rid of uh, whatever uh, government uh, agencies you want to get rid of. You can always put them back in four years later. But you can't lose four years. Podcast on this real time. I didn't see that. Maybe he is saying everything now after the election. But to me, it is insane. If you notice that your party is doing this, you should be able to call it out. That has been a problem with Libras. They see the truth. They don't want to call it out. Until this level, they could not win. Now they are able to see things differently. He has mentioned the border. Bima has never mentioned that as a problem before. He has never. That is a big problem. People care about that. Talking about the economy, these are things people care about. Then go into deportations. When you look into the statistics, before Trump proceeded with this, because majority of people agree with that, so Trump had to focus on it. That was just a clear goal. Looking at this actor, it's like the man knows nothing, like seriously. What Bima is saying here, he's surprising to him. According to the reason, he struggled to outline, oh, talking about, oh, Kamala is a woman, oh, it's black. These are identity politics that feed Democrat a long time ago. But this doesn't work now. If you are a good candidate and you are able to deliver, people don't care who you are. In those days, they used to look at your skin color. Believe me now, it doesn't work. And that is what Democrat thought. They knew Kamala is going to win on a landslide. But they were shocked, like Hillary Clinton. This was even worse than her. The, the fame, Holtman, the Holtman family should apologize. The place that made these refused to make them for me. Oh, really? What? Yes. What? Oh, no, no. One last thing. Jimmy Kenny thinks that Trump supporters are stupid. What I'm asking is, you know that if Trump had lost this election right now, we would be talking about the votes that are still coming in in Pennsylvania and Wisconsin, and he'd be in the courts, and we would just be all in a tether. Wait, hold on. Currently, Bob Casey, Democratic senator in Pennsylvania, is doing exactly what you're saying, where he's looking for all these votes and trying to, and the Bucks County commissioners are saying, we need fake ones, we need to get all the ones that are unregistered. No, so, they're no, just no. counting them. I don't know if Bib Maha is aware of what is happening on social media, Democrat doing things that is even worse than that. And in Pennsylvania, they are now saying they have to count illegal ballot. I don't even want to talk about that. This lady actually made it clear. So Bib should just understand Democrat do the same thing. But there's one theory that a lot of people seem to be coalescing around. They were too woke, insisting that people use the term Latinx. You have to say they. No, you have to do this. Stop with the virtue signaling. Step away from woke. Focus less on who is woke and more on who is broke. I've never seen that. I saw so many liberals getting super excited every time Kamala had a new celebrity endorsement. 
But we all know for a fact that these celebrity endorsements are not free. Oh, is it true that they paid you a million dollars for the endorsement for Kamala? Not true. Not now it's time to unite everybody. I want you to know what would change after doing this. <laughs> Comes out against Trump. I don't care if they write that. So, with that, I'm going to shake it off. Figure out a way to say thank you. That guy's name, he's such an absolute absolute prick i can't stand him but anyway um hey there not doing great terrible night last night it was a terrible night what will the rest of us be doing on day one <laughs> bishop vigano he says that the i'm sure i also want to say